today we're going to be looking at creating QR codes. Uh, many of you probably know what a uh, barcode is. It's lines that can be read with a scanner or a um, camera of some sort. Uh, QR codes are the next generation of that. They allow you to store a lot more data. You can store, store a large amount of text in a little square. You've seen them on products. Uh, business cards, a bunch of stuff, and they're very, very handy. I did a tutorial a long time ago on a program uh, called uh, QR Encode. Uh, QR Encode should be in a repository, so if you're on a Debian-based system, you can sudo apt install, you gotta spell install, right? Install uh, QR Encode, you know, if you're on Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, use whatever package manager you like. Once it's installed, it's very simple to use. Uh, you just type QR, oops, QR encode, give it some text such as uh, HTTP colon slash, slash films. Yeah, I'll do two forward slashes films by chris.com, which is my website. And uh, then you want to give it the type of file you want to output. So I'm going to do uh, T uh, PNG dash O, and I'll just put it to uh, output FBK dot uh, PNG. Uh, and hopefully, if uh, that was generated properly, I should be able to use a uh, image viewer. I'll use uh, I'm assuming is how you say that. So I'm going to use to uh, display this PNG file. And there's a QR code. And let me just make sure that I typed everything right and it generated properly. Grab my cell phone, point it at that. And sure enough, it says Film Beside Chris. Gives me the link there. You should be able to scan it uh, watching this video if, if you're watching it at high enough resolution. I'll close that. So that I've shown in the past, and there are many uh, file formats you can output to. But let's say you're you're running this on a server, or you you only have a shell. You don't have a GUI, um, and you want to be able to display it right in the terminal. Uh, you want to display your QR code. Well, you have options, and so I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to erase my output file, and for type, I'm going to change it to UTF-8. Uh, now, if I do that, boom, we have a QR code right here using Unicode standards uh, that you can scan with your phone or whatnot. Uh, so that's very useful. You can do it right there um, in your shell. And uh, another option would be if for some reason you're running a shell that doesn't uh, allow Unicode code standards, uh, you do have another option, which is plain old ASCII. So you just change this to uh, at, oh, as key probably doesn't have to be capital, but uh, I'll capitalize it all. And now you get this. Let me small down. So you wouldn't think that this works, but it does. Now my phone has a little trouble scanning like this, but if you do the same exact command, but do a lowercase i at the end, uh, you hit enter and it inverts it. And my phone can read this a lot easier. And it's just using the pound symbol and it's creating a QR code in ASCII. And again, you wouldn't think this works, but it does. I can point my phone at this, it scans it, and we get the the, the barcode on there. So there are two options to output uh, your QR code right there in your shell script. I use this in a lot of my scripts that we're gonna, I'm going to be looking at here soon. Um, but there are a lot of options if we were to type in man uh, QR in code and look at the man page here. Uh, it's a very helpful man page. You can see that you can do uh, the output to a file. Uh, and if we come down here, there's a lot of options that we even play with. Uh, but you can set here uh, the, the DPI, which is nice because you can set kind of the size of your QR code if you're outputting to a PNG. I don't know how that would work if you're working right in the shell. Uh, but type, look at all these different file formats you can save to. Uh, as we went over ASCII, ASCII inverted, uh, UTF-8, which is the Unicode standardization. Uh, you can also do ANSI uh, UTF-8, uh, which I believe uh, UTF-8, the point of that was kind of to replace this. The, the output of the shell looks the same for me. Uh, the only difference that I know, I, I notice, so if I was to uh, run this, I get it, and it's in the color of my theme, uh, of my shell. If I was to uh, do the ANSI, the 
something national standard. I don't know. I don't remember what, exactly what it stands for. Uh, it does the same thing, just in white. It doesn't match the theme. Um, so I don't know the benefit of one over the other, other than I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't know. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna guess. Um, but there's a lot, of, a lot of help in here, and there's a few examples here on uh, ways to use it. You can also pass it a text file. Uh, one thing that I do uh, commonly is if you don't give it a string, you can pipe stuff into it. So if I was to run my date command, uh, I can pipe that into here, and there now uh, is a QR code with my. Uh, time and date that I'm recording this. So uh, you can pipe text from a command into a QR code and then scan it with your phone if for some reason you need to do that, which uh, we'll talk about more as we get into utilizing this stuff because uh, there's a lot of scripts I have that I've created shortcut keys uh, on my system. I press shortcut key and I can get a QR code to scan to my phone, uh, which is very useful for passing stuff to your phone. Anyway, that's a quick look. Again, QR code, uh, uh, QR encode does a lot of great things, outputs to a lot of formats. Very, very useful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, uh, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. And uh, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. You can check out the link in the description or point your phone at this QR code right now. And it will bring you to my, my uh, website where you can search through all my videos from this channel and my second channel, which is on hardware. If you like it, be sure to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Support me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Uh, and uh, there, I would, I would love to so let's actually do that. Um, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. So go ahead and scan that QR code. Uh, if I typed everything right, and it should be to a place where you can become a supporter, get early access and downloadable videos from me. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.